I could get another video, man. We got what young NBA players think of Steph Curry, man. Man, look, y'all know we came to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come to do, man. We came to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man, is all that other stuff, man. With that being said, man, let's get right into the video. Coming up in today's NBA, many have drawn comparisons to the already legendary Stephen Curry. But what do these young players around the league think about him? With Trey Young quickly turning into one of the best shooters in the NBA since his college days, he's often been compared to Stephen Curry with his ridiculous shooting ability. Back in 2018, Steph was interviewed about the new rookie Trey Young. But Steph stated that he was unbelievable. Steph showed Trey a lot of. He's unbelievable because he's you. Unbelievable. He can do it exactly what I can do respect and he understands why fans see the comparison between them in a recent interview with bleacher report young noticed the comparisons between him and steph as well but he'd go as far as to say the comparisons to curry are unfair trey young told bleacher report no because he's not a shooter either he's a guy who makes plays obviously he's the best shooter of all time but he's not just strictly a shooter when i think of a shooter i think of jj reddick i think of a guy who just runs off screens and strictly just shoots clay thompson ray Allen. who else kyle corvo that's how I look at it. Steph's the best shooter of all time, but I think he's overall just a playmaker. There's a few differences. The style of play, the way we play. There's more opportunity for me on the ball. Make more isolation plays, things like that. We both shoot the ball really well, but he's shooting it at a super high level. Probably the best shooter of all time. We definitely have some similarities with that, but there are also things that are different. And Young finished the interview with Bleacher Report saying, it's something I definitely take pride in. I always tell people, my favorite stat is an assist because it's multiple people doing work together to get a stat. So I definitely take pride in helping my teammates get... I remember mean, back then, I didn't know what assist was. I, used to, I first started playing 2K. I didn't know what assist was. You know what I'm saying? I ain't know. To where they need to be. With Luka Doncic being the leader of the Mavericks and quickly making a name for himself in the league, the two of him and Steph, of course, recognized each other's greatness. After the first time playing against each other, the Warriors battled back and secured the victory. Both Luka and Steph would meet each other at center court after the game, and Curry's message to Luka was, I don't have to tell you anything, just keep doing what you're doing. After that first game between each other, the mutual respect for one another was unmatched. Luka even had a private workout with Steph and wanted to witness his work ethic firsthand. Luka knows what Curry's done throughout his career. During an interview, he went on to say, he does things that you can't guard. It's nuts what he does. Now, earlier this season, Luka played the Warriors without Steph Curry on the court and captured the ninth triple-double of his career. After the game, he was asked about the comparisons between Steph and himself, and he answered by saying, What jump shot that is on 2K? You know, they shoot like, he, he barely jumped, but you know what I'm saying? It's just so straight. I, I don't know what it is. But I, can't, I can't put my finger on it. He's shooting way better than me. He's a better player. He's been in the league a long time. He's somebody that everybody looks up to. Everybody wants to play like him. I remember last year after the draft, I practiced once with him and it was crazy. He couldn't miss. He can't miss. And that was like something I'll always remember. Practice with him. From dominating in high school to earning a full scholarship. Yeah, I don't see how much work he put in. Or I think it's just a gift. Nah, no, that ain't no gift, boy. He actually got in the gym and just kept shooting the ball. Scholarship at Duke University, Zion's a walking highlight reel. Not only is he projected to have a stellar NBA career, Zion's also drawn enough attention to receive praise from one of NBA's top shooters, Stephen Curry. Last year during All-Star Weekend, Steph was asked about Zion and what he thought about him. Curry went on to say, he's unreal. We were talking about him the other day in our team room. He has a lot of hype around him. He's unbelievably talented, but you can't teach his passion and motor. He plays hard every possession. That's an underrated skill that kids should emulate. No, but Curry don't. taking the time to give Zion Stop his praise. The, the man don't even stick defense. He don't stick defense. He might get a couple of blocks every now and then, you know, do some little sleek fluky stuff like that, but he don't stick. I don't know why, but none of the good players stick defense. They just don't stick defense. They just don't care about defense. It's all about offense to them. We definitely got back to Zion. After putting up another insane game, performance, Zion, Zion was asked what he thought about what NBA players were saying about him during All-Star Weekend. Obviously, Zion played it cool and went on to say, Talking about me? I'm in college. I mean, I guess it's dope. Around the same time, Zion was on Instagram doing a live feed talking to fans. When someone asked if he could dunk on Steph Curry, Zion responded to the fan by saying, I would hope I could dunk on Steph Curry. Alonzo Ball you know making a headline entrance into the league in 2017, he already had to guard some of the league's best players, including Steph Curry, who he's talked about. Ahead of the matchup between Curry and Ball, Steph wanted to give some words of encouragement. During an interview with The Athletic, Curry went on to say, he's a rookie. He's going through the ups and downs like every rookie has, whether you're highly touted or not. It's all a learning experience, trying to find your way and be comfortable. Basically, my perception is he's working through that. I've always said he's a great talent. I think he loves to play basketball, so he'll be able to fight through that and have a great career. I hope you didn't judge me off my first 20 games in the league either. He's not the first person the peanut gallery kind of wants to chime in and tell people how to play the game, but at the end of the day, he's made shots shooting like that before. I'm pretty sure he'll figure out what that means in the NBA. That's for him to decide. Now, it turns out that Steph Curry has influenced how the Ball Brothers play the game of basketball. It's definitely made an impact with Lonzo. During an interview, Lonzo Ball went on to say, I felt like we shot like that before him, but he came into the NBA 
Nia started doing it. Everybody saw him do it. Then at first, we were getting criticized for it. But after he pretty much opened the gateway, everyone was cool with it. It's the point guard's job to lead the team. Curry has done that with a blend of selflessness, joy, and hard work to empower his teammates. I come out here and have fun. My job is playing basketball. It's a blessing to come for out sure. here and see people every day that I like to be around. So I have fun. After a game between the Lakers and the Warriors, when Lonzo was still a part of the purple and gold, Porters asked him what influence Curry's had on him as a player. And Lonzo said, you know, watching as a fan, he's great to watch. One of the most exciting players in the league. My opinion, the best shooter of all time. You know, he can shoot it off the catch, off the dribble. So he's one of the best point guards in the NBA. The reporter then asked if Curry was an influence for oh, people sure. like him and his younger brothers to shoot from so far beyond the three point line. Lonzo said, yeah, I mean, he's kind of the first one to do it in the NBA like that. It kind of just ran from it. With whoa, 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 whoa. So y'all forgot about Jimmy for that? Cause we used to say something back in the day, like Jim Range, you know what I'm saying? I guess y'all forgot about it. I mean, I know he ain't nobody now, but how y'all just gonna forget about Jim for dead? That's crazy to me, bro. Aaron Fox emerging as the young star in Sacramento. He has plenty of years left to perfect his craft, but he was recently praised by a few players, including Stephen Curry. In early 2019, the Kings squared off against the Warriors, and whenever the two teams play each other, Curry is always Fox's assignment. A few days after a loss to the Warriors, De'Aaron was on Undisputed talking to Shannon and the Skip about how hard it is to guard Curry. He said, you better be ready to run. You got a lot of guys like Dame and Kyrie who could do it off the dribble. Steph can do it off the dribble, but I think what makes him extremely dangerous is the fact oh, that he can get off the ball. He's able to run around 17 screens and still get a shot off. So I think that's what makes hey, him the most really dangerous. De'Aaron also recently spoke about why he thinks Curry is as great as he is when he said, Steph Curry, just the way that he moves without the ball, I think he's probably the best off ball point guard in the league. He's so good at moving without the ball. There's a lot of stuff like that. The little things that guys do that make an impact. With John Morant quickly becoming a face of new yeah, NBA players, doing unreal things his rookie season. Yeah, he hasn't John been able Morant. to face off Stephen Curry yet, but that doesn't stop the rookie from going at him online. Morant hey. and Curry recently got into it on social media about Andre rookie Iguodala's him, trade situation. Damn. All this Damn. drama started when the Golden State Warriors had to make cap space last offseason to acquire D'Angelo Russell and a sign and trade deal with the Brooklyn Nets. When the news hit the media that Iguodala was being traded to the Memphis Grizzlies, he was clearly upset. He flat out didn't want to play for the organization, so the Grizzlies said they would try and trade him, but Iguodala hadn't even played one game with them this season. With the trade deadline approaching, much talk was being thrown around about Iguodala sitting on the bench the whole year, and how he never really gave the Grizzlies a chance, despite the team showing potential with the new addition. Andre would eventually be traded to the Miami Heat, and some of his recent teammates on the Grizzlies were not silent when they heard the news. The drama began when Grizzlies guard Dylan Brooks said in an interview three days beforehand that, first time I seen him on TV, he was talking about us. It doesn't even matter. Andre Iguodala is a great player. I feel like he's doing the right thing for his career, but we don't really care. It's not a distraction at all. I'm not for that type of stuff. A guy that's on our team and doesn't want to be on our team, I can't wait till we find a way to trade him so we can play him and show him what Memphis is about. Now things heat up on social media fast after this, and even the Warriors heard about the headlines that Grizzly players were making. Andre Iguodala's old teammate Stephen Curry would chime in on the situation and help out his old friend. Steph took to Instagram by posting a picture of his former teammate Iguodala holding the NBA championship trophy and a shush emoji. John Moran had seen what Curry had posted and decided he wasn't going to take that. Moran would clap back at Steph by posting a photo of just Kevin Durant holding the trophy. Basically, the rookie was trolling Steph by saying that if it wasn't for Durant, they wouldn't have won those two championships. The feuds got fans worked up as someone tweeted that John Morant saying that he should delete tweets for praising Curry in the past. Morant responded on Twitter by saying, LOL, delete it for what? You scroll down my Twitter, you'll see me talk about Curry a lot. Probably some other players too. I was a fan and still a fan, but I ain't scared of him. Now, the drama slowly dissolved as Morant said recently that him and Curry had spoken together via DM. Morant went on to say that there's a mutual respect between both of them. Hey, yo, dog. I'm starting to run out of really dumb things to say at the end of the video, so I just need. That's it, man. I come subscribe, man. Let me know what y'all think down below, man. Y'all be keep your head up, man. I'll let y'all go.